Other news from the Pentagon, as the U.S. military powers down in the Middle East, it's beefing up its presence in the Western Pacific. Two of its most important allies in Asia launched Cope North, a major multilateral exercise. Ever today's New York correspondent Aaron Abe tells us more. Aaron? Thanks, Mia. Now, the exercise stationed in Anderson Air Force Base in Guam is designed to help prepare the U.S., Japanese, and Australian Air Forces in order to be ready if a crisis erupts in that region of the world. Maneuvers like this are key elements of Washington's evolving strategy in the Pacific as the U.S. places more attention on Asia and the possibility of an air or sea confrontation with the rapidly modernizing Chinese military. The amount of commerce that goes through here, the amount of the world GDP that goes through here, if you look at the world population that's in this part of the world, the importance of the Pacific can't really be overstated. The policy, called the Pacific Rebalance, will bring newer and more advanced aircraft and ships to the Pacific region over the next few years. It will also spread out tens of thousands of U.S. troops now primarily based in Japan and South Korea. U.S. Marines have already begun rotational deployments to Darwin in northern Australia. About 9,000 Marines stationed on the southern Japanese island of Okinawa are to be moved to Guam, Hawaii, and other locations. Uh, in, in this exercise, the training is not for the uh, anti-specific country like China. However, the, the, I think it's uh, our allies, Japan and the U.S. and Australia, is healthy. Is a strong message, I think. The changes reflect a deepening strategic concern over the rise of China as a regional military power with the potential to challenge Washington's ability to intervene in a crisis, particularly around Taiwan and islands in the South and East China Seas that are being contested by China and U.S. allies such as the Philippines and Japan. Washington's renewed focus on Asia has generally been welcomed by its more established and prosperous allies like Japan and Australia because they share the U.S.'s concerns that changes in the balance of power could hurt economic growth throughout the region. I'm happy to say, yeah, from our perspective, we recognize that the degree of strategic uncertainty is increasing and that uh, uh, I think uh, nations without the region are looking for that increased support that uh, uh, working with the U.S. Is, is likely to bring. Japan also has a more urgent need to tout its U.S. alliance. Its Coast Guard ships and fighter aircraft have been deployed frequently over the past several months to drive their Chinese counterparts away from a group of small, uninhabited islands that both nations claim as their own. The dispute has soured diplomatic and trade relations and shows no signs of diminishing.